y'all happy sunday welcome on in you guys today i'm going to be making my famous uh macro patties these are um completely inspired by my mother my mother taught me how to make these i made these before and the short video went viral okay it has over 1.4 or 5 million views so the last time i checked so i've been craving mackerel often I, I crave mackerel sometimes throughout the month and today was one of those days i was in church today and i was literally tasting the mackerel in church like i, I was tasting the crust and just everything i was like man i need it so i went to my local fred myers who is sister to kroger y'all like this video everyone who's in like the video because when you like the video it lets people know that we're on and everybody can come in and we can get the show started you know what i'm saying the right way so please like the video um but i went into uh my local friend myers um and i got this mackerel here this is wild caught that's the kind you want wild caught it's just better for you um mackerel has gone up in price um you used to be able to get this for a, a dollar and some change this almost cost me four dollars and so just for this one can and i got three cans and so um be aware that you you know it, it's, it's not cheap it, it, it's not cheap but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get started let me get um uh so i'm gonna open up these cans right quick let me just go ahead and open them up so welcome everybody who came in I'm going to go ahead and get started because I don't want my family eating late at night. I want them to eat a decent hour so everybody can go to bed and get ready for school and work in the morning. So you just want to drain off the excess juice. Uh, turn it a little bit. There. And I'm gonna pour those in there. So this is what they look like. Okay. And these will fill you up, you guys, because I didn't notice until I brought these in the store earlier. Make sure you like the video when you're coming in. I didn't know this, this until I was in the store earlier, but you guys, there's 20 grams of protein in this. 20 grams of protein in a serving, and the serving is uh, a half. One third cup is a serving, which is, it's about 3.5 servings in this one container. And so that's 20 grams of protein, which explains why I would, when my mama would cook these when I was a child, I would always be full off of two. Like literally could just eat two and I'm like extremely full. And now it makes sense because protein makes me full. Protein makes me full, which is why people who work out in the gym, you know, they got their protein shakes. Hey, Tashana. Hey, everybody coming on in. I'm just getting right in. I might not be reading comments as much, y'all. I'm just going to jump right in because we got an extensive menu to cook today. And um, if you guys want to, by show of, by show of um, 
popularity. We will film this, um, give y'all a mukbang to this, but I, I wasn't going to, but you guys um, let me know. I was just going to show y'all how to cook it, but y'all let me know if y'all want a mukbang. And um, we'll have you guys a mukbang to this as well, meaning that we'll, we'll uh, eat it with you guys as well. Sit down and eat it with you. But yeah, it makes sense now because I'm like, I used to only, like when growing up, I remember my mama would make these and I would only be able to eat like two. And then as an adult, even now, like I could eat like three. Like after three, I'm extremely full. Now it all makes sense because there's a lot of protein in this. So y'all, that's what's up. Anyway, let me throw these away. Um, I thought I was going to use three, but you know what? I think two is going to do, you guys, because look at how much is that. Look at how much is in there. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's two whole macros right there. So I think I'm going to save this one for a rainy day. Like the video as you're coming in. Give us a thumbsies up, sis. Okay. So the next thing you're going to want to do, let me go ahead and get my... You can either use cornstarch or you can use flour. You need a binder. So we're gonna do, we're gonna use um, two eggs. I'm gonna use two eggs. I'm gonna, and, I'm, and I normally use cornstarch, but today I'm gonna go ahead and use some flour. So we're gonna get that right here. Let me get the flour down to coat everything. And I'm gonna use panko breadcrumbs. I got this trick from my mom. Um, and so how I'm going to make them, I learned from my mother. Just to let everyone know, the way I make them, I learned from my mother. She taught me how to do this. All right. So I also have a bell pepper. My mama always just used to put a bell pepper in it. And today I'm going to keep it simple. Sometimes I use onion and I use different kind of peppers. Today I'm going to keep it really simple and I'm just going to use bell pepper as well as well as a little bit of white onion. I'm gonna keep it real simple. So we're gonna go ahead and um, chop this. Um, we're gonna leave these sitting over here. We're gonna go ahead and chop them up, chop up the bell pepper. That way we don't have to worry, worry about chopping them later on. So let's go ahead and get these chopped up. I'm gonna get some onion out of the refrigerator. I hope everyone is having a beautiful Sunday. I am blessed and highly favored. Um, I had a really great time at church today. Um, we talked about putting on the full armor of God. That's what we talked about. I got a half an onion right here, so I'm going to dice this up finely and um, add this in. Set it aside and add it into it later. But yeah, in church today, we talked about putting on the full armor of God so you can stand against the day of attack. Like when the enemy comes to to attack you and so we were taught we were coming from the book of ephesians um we did ephesians chapter one and we did ephesians chapter six we also did first peter i believe it was chapter four as well but yeah in church it was awesome we learned about putting on the full armor of god today i really miss church i haven't actually hadn't been in like about a month because i had a lot going on but i'm so glad that my life has slow, slowed down a little bit more and i was able to go today it was Pretty awesome. Actually, you guys, I'm probably not gonna use all of this onion because I don't want too, too much onion. Half an onion is way too much. So, I'm gonna use maybe about a, I don't know y'all, maybe a third of onion, probably a third cup of onion, white onion. You're gonna just dice it finely. And as I'm dicing this onion, Y'all, I'm just remembering, reminiscing on the times when I was a little kid. And I remember the burnt little onions would be my favorite part on the inside when I would bite into it. Uh, my mom, would she would mix it in with the onions and the onions um, would be all crispy. <laughs> it would be all crispy and uh, kind of burnt. And that would be my favorite part to pick out and eat, the onions. Little crispy burnt onions. Yeah, honey. Let me tell you one thing. I can't cook these like my mom. I can't. Like her, they, there's, I, I tried. I've really tried to, to make them just like her. I can't. There's just a distinct taste that, that they have when she makes them. So I actually had called her yesterday and I was like, mom, can you come make me some macros? Um, I think I said, mom, can you make me some macros on Monday? And she was like, I thought I was doing a video on Monday. I said, okay, mom, can you make them on Tuesday? She's like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna come make them on Tuesday. And then I was in church today. And I'm like, I can't wait, Lord. I'm like, I'm like, I can't wait. I'm gonna have to just go ahead and make them myself because I need it. You know, 
I was like, man, I need it. I need it. So I'm happy that she has taught me how to make them to where they still taste amazing if you follow the direction. So we're going to just, I'm just going to go ahead and add this onion in right now. I haven't mushed them up or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and put them in here right now. Thank you so much for coming in, you guys. If you're just now joining us, please go ahead and like the video and share it. Let everybody know Donisha's in the house. She cooking with Donisha. Just Donisha today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. Now I'm going to put in a lot of this bell pepper. Um, you guys, cute little story. I, I, I even, the only way I learned, I learned what a bell pepper was. My first teacher for what a bell pepper was, was my mother, you guys. When I tell you my mother used bell pepper for every dish, of course not the um the desserts, but like every savory, salty dish, my mama used bell, I mean, I grew up on bell pepper. My mama cooked with it like, like she always cooked with it. And because of that, I always recognized, like I never would like really be in the kitchen cooking with my mom, but I would, she, you know, I would be noticing what she's doing. Like I paid attention, even though I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be in the kitchen. I come in when the food done, but you know, sometimes cooking is just in your blood. You may not go to school to be a chef, or you might not know all of the etiquette, you know, the uh, edit etiquette words or the proper words to pronounce, but cooking literally when you, you know, a person who can, you know, cook, it comes from the soul. You know what I'm saying? You just learn from the, it's, it's your soul. You know what I mean? And so at the end of the day, like I remember growing up, like watching my mom cook with bell pepper every single, like almost every day, y'all. She loved her some bell. And even now there are certain dishes that if she don't have no bell pepper in it, she ain't going to eat it. She ain't going to eat it. And um, so basically what I'm trying to say, moral of the story is, is when I turned, I say about, I say about a good 20. I think when I turned 20 years old. It was just me and my son and um, the, whatever relationship I was in at the time. And you guys, listen, I may have not knew how to cook, but I'll tell you, I used to eat baked chicken a lot. <laughs> I used to, I didn't know how to fry chicken yet, but I knew how to bake it. Um, I knew how to bake it though. So I would go to the store and I would buy bell pepper. <laughs> I would buy bell pepper. I would buy onion. I would buy all kinds of different peppers, y'all. And then I would just season my meat. Cause I didn't really know how to season meat yet. So I would season it with like just some Johnny's seasoning or something like that and some pepper. You know what I mean? Maybe garlic powder, maybe onion powder. But I remember I would always take a bunch of bell pepper. I would dice them up. Not like dice like this, but like, like this. I would dice them like this. Bell pepper, onion, and honey. I would season my chicken up, put my chicken in the pan. And I would just throw all of the peppers right on top and put aluminum foil on top and put it in the oven. I ate baked chicken legs almost every day. <laughs> Cause you know, I was in my twenties. I didn't know how to, uh, I didn't know how to cook. I didn't have a lot of money. You know, I was just on my own. I had my own apartment, you know, I was in college and I didn't know what I was doing. So, but I knew for sure that I know, I knew when some chicken was done, you know, I might've not knew how to really cook it, but I knew when it was done. So, honey, I, I just used to uh, always cook with bell peppers and onions. And, I, and fun fact, my one of one of my apartments, me and my sister, I let my sister come stay with me. I was on Section 8, right? I had got my Section 8. Man, back then when you got Section 8, like, it was like, uh, it was like, it was like you won the lotto. I'm going to be 100% with you. When you got Section 8 back in the day, it was like you won the lotto. Do you hear me? You know, and for people who really needed it, you know what I'm saying? I really needed it. You know, I didn't have much money. They weren't, you know, they don't want paying you much back then. And I was in school, even though I was on Section 8 and food stamps, I was still in school. I was in college studying um, psychology, but I needed it. I needed that extra help at that time. So um, basically, I remember back then my sister stayed with me and she cooked, she didn't cook at all. I was about 22 years old. My sister was about 20 or 21 and you know, she, she didn't cook at all. Like she never cooked. She would just go to mom's house and get something to eat. But I let her stay with me, her and her son. And my sister never liked onions. She never liked bell pepper. She never liked onions. She would, she did, she never would eat it. Right. Until one day she came, she came in the kitchen. She saw me putting bell pepper 
peppers and onion on top of my baked chicken and put it in the oven, honey, when it was done. She grabbed that chicken leg and taste. She said, whoa. She said, it has so much flavor. So much, it has so much flavor. That's what she said. And honey, from that day forward, my sister started cooking with bell pepper and onions and she started tearing them things up. She never used to cook with uh, bell pepper, onion, any kind of vegetable until she recognized that it had loads of flavor. Until she recognized it had loads of flavor. From that day forward, honey, she learned how to cook that day. And you know what? I need to start doing that more because I actually don't do that any much anymore. I don't. When I make my baked chicken now, I just season it real good because now I know how to season my food really well. But I need to go back to putting bell pepper and onions and all of that on top of my chicken and put it in the oven. I need to go back to doing that because that was the days, honey. I mean, I used to love me some baked chicken legs. I, I'm telling y'all, I ate that junk almost every day. Sure did. <laughs> all right. Almost every and chicken legs is still cheap like that. So then I'm going to take these. And throw these bell pepper in here. I got them diced as, uh, you want them diced fine. You want to try to dice them finely, y'all, because the finer you dice them, the uh, better they are, um, you know, um, it'll be easier to get them to adhere to the, um, the mixture. So now I'm just going to like literally just take my hands like this and mush it up. So what I'm doing is, is make sure y'all like the video coming in. 136 of y'all in here, 57 likes. Like it up, like it up. But um, I heard somebody say, I, I read somebody's a while ago. Someone has said, let me read a comment. Hi, Donisha. I just came across your channel a week ago. This is the first live I call. Amen, chosen, not punished. I know that's right. Chosen, but not punished. Thank you so much for the support. Hey, whatever, Mrs. Kirkland in the house. That was that that was my go-to baked chicken or tacos. Yep, yep. Brandon, what's up? Tashana, Tashana, love you so much. Valerie, she's Edith, I believe. Thank you guys so much. Welcome in. I just wanted to read a few comments. Hey Rose, I'm a bell pepper queen. Yes. <laughs> my mama taught me. My mama taught me. Now look, y'all. I only use two cans of this. Look at how much is in there. Two cans goes a long, a long way. So even though the price did go up like two dollars, y'all, since back in the day, the price went up on these doggone mackerels. But I got a very good quality one. It's wild caught. You know, they say wild caught is better than um, farm raised because farm, like they can, they can control um, what the uh, the the creatures eat and stuff like that. But when they're wild, you know, they eat the necessary, they get the necessary nutrients that they need. So whenever I get fish, I always get a little excited when it's wild caught. Not that I'm not going to pack a bunch of flour and grease on it. I'm just saying a wild caught is always the best way to go. And so um, I really like this brand. And um, But I heard somebody, let me jump back to what I was saying earlier. I had read a comment uh, a while ago that someone was saying, why didn't I take the bones out in the macro? Now, my mom taught me that the bones are so soft that you can literally crush them up. If you, you can literally take the bone, pick it up, put it in your mouth and eat it, and it will not hurt going down it'll literally dissolve in your mouth and this is very true so often i'm not sure for everybody's mackerel but every time i get it the bones are very soft because they've been marinating in salt and um marinating in the salt and everything they've been cured right so um they're very soft and so you can just crush them in there which is great it gives you an added nutrient you know you get that um doesn't bone have like collagen or something in it Whatever nutrients that come in are in come in bones, you know, like people drink bone broth, you know what I'm saying? So whatever nutrients that come from eat like from the bone, you get that added nutrients when you crush it up in there. If you can crush it up in there, I'm not saying everybody's mackerel, you can crush the bones up. Some of them you might can't, but the brands I always get, I can crush them up. I've never had to take them out. Never. Oh, thank you. Deidre says you look so pretty. Thank you. Hey, Sandra. Happy Sunday to you and your family. Okay, y'all, so this is crushed up. This is crushed up nicely. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dispose of these because, honey, the smell. If you, honey, the fish smell is real. But anyway, 
I'm gonna dispose of those gloves and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the flour in. I'm gonna start adding um, my bell, my uh, uh, seasonings that I wanna add to it. Now, listen, you do not need to add any salt. You do not need to add any salt, hear me. Because it is, it has salt, it has enough salt. To me, it's not overly salty like salt fish. It's not like that kind of salt. It's like kind of salted like a sardine or something, you know? Like it's enough salt. So you don't typically need to add any salt. However, I'm gonna add in just a tad bit, why? But I'm gonna add in some good salt because I'm gonna be putting flour on it and that flour, I'm not gonna season my flour. So I'm gonna add in just a little bit of salt. You can get away with a little. So I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon of pink Himalayan sea salt. You can get away with a little bit, y'all. You definitely can. And then I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of garlic powder. I'm also, even though I have onions in here, I'm also gonna add in some onion powder. You guys, I love seasoning. Y'all better get ready, honey, because when God allows me to make my own seasonings, I'm gonna make me a nice all-purpose seasoning. And I was telling God that yesterday. I was like, when I make my own purpose seasoning, I want my all-purpose seasoning to have like good ingredients. Like I wanna try to take out as much preservatives as possible. You know what I'm saying? But I, I do have a goal of one day of owning my own seasoning. And with the help of my Lord Jesus Christ, him teaching me how to be a better business person and all of that, I'm gonna be able to. And then for some reason, you guys, I like to add turmeric powder in here. So I add in about just a tablespoon of turmeric powder. I don't know why, my mom doesn't do that. You can discard that, but I, I don't know why, but I do like it. I also like to add in a little bit of black pepper. And I actually, anytime I'm using turmeric powder, I always try to use black pepper because black the, uh, the uh, chemistry of the turmeric and the uh, black pepper, when, it, when it's combined, it activates the turmeric powder, meaning that it um, does some kind of, it forms together and does some kind of chemistry work where it helps to, when you consume it, it helps to reduce inflammation in your bones. So um, I learned that a while ago, that when you're using turmeric powder, make sure you use black pepper with it. There's actually drinks that people drink and when they put turmeric powder in it, they add black pepper in it as well. So I also use smoked paprika. I use smoked paprika with almost everything, especially this one. This is a very good brand that I get from Trader Joe's. It's great, you guys, I just love it, I, I just do. So, and then the last thing I'm gonna add is some oregano. I love the taste of oregano, you know, a little bit of oregano in here. I just love the taste of it. Okay. And um, that's pretty much it, you guys. That's when it comes to the seasonings. Oh, I lied. I have two liquid seasonings that I'm gonna add. Let me show you. Let me show you. All right. So my two liquids that I'm going to add is I'm going to add one tablespoon of mustard. Um, it just gives it a really nice taste. Okay. A nice crispy taste. And I'm going to add in a little bit of sriracha. Okay. All right. Great. Now let's add in the binder. Oh, let me get my eggs. You don't need two eggs. You can use one egg. You can use one egg. And if you don't want to use eggs, don't use eggs. But I'm going to use two eggs today i'm gonna use two so can you guys wash off your eggs i remember years ago when my son was really young i went to this um i used to go to this um to this uh college this public college isabel what are you doing nothing go out of here i just want to some mac and cheese okay wait till i'm done cooking okay can, can i watch you in the room i have it on it's in the room on the computer Okay. Yeah. But anyways, I used to go to this college, right? I was trying to figure out. I'm like, what is that? But you guys are seeing the top of this. It's the box of ramen. Make sure you thumbs up the video, you guys. So um, I used to go to this uh, community college. And there was this lady there. She was like, I forget who she was. It was one of my instructors. She was telling us to... She was telling us to wash off our eggs. And I'm like, why do you have to wash your eggs off? I mean, this was years ago. She's like, wash, wash. Off. I'm, I must have been maybe 20. I think I might have been 23 years old. She's like, wash off your eggs. I'm like, why, why do I have to wash off my eggs? Until she was, until she said, she said, your eggs are dirty. She's like, your eggs are dirty. I never noticed my eggs were dirty. 
But until I went to the store, I got some eggs, I brought them home, I looked at them, and they had all kind of dirt, all kind of stuff on them. So ever since that lady said that, I washed my eggs. And I was like, well, I'm, you, I'm I, I was like, in my mind, I was trying to reason. I was like, but I'm, I'm not eating the outside of the egg. I'm eating what's in it. And she's like, yeah, but when you crack it, it passes through the outside, meaning it touches the outside. That might be some too germaphobe for some of you because you do heat it up and stuff. But when she said that, it stuck with me. And now it's like for like the last, I don't know, 10 years or something, I wash my eggs off. Anyway, I encourage you, if you think your eggs are not dirty, go to the store and get you some white eggs and look at them and see how dirty they are. Somebody said, uh, Edith said, yes, eggs are dirty. They are. I didn't believe it until I got my own, own eggs. Because back then, I never used to eat the brown eggs. I always eat the white eggs back then. And I would look at them. And I'm like, wow, these eggs are dirty. I never knew. Never knew. I'm like, man, I never knew them eggs was dirty. Mine, them eggs dirty, mine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, y'all. So now I'm going to just add in a little bit of a binder. I'm just going to eyeball this. So... It's not like a third or anything. Well, it, it might be like a third. You're just going to add in like a little less than a third of flour. Now, you can also use cornstarch. And the kind of flour I'm using, I'm using bread flour. It's, I mean, you can use whatever flour you want, but this is just going to help it bind. Do you see how it's starting to, see how it's starting to like kind of like firm up? It's not as loose. See that? That's from the flour and the egg. <laughs> yes, my mom used to read chicken. Yeah, uh, used to what? Read chicken. <laughs> oh, raised chicken. I guess you you probably was trying to say raised chicken. You didn't have to erase your comment. I, I, I got you. <laughs> All right, y'all. So now we have it. Look, let me show y'all. Y'all see? See that? So now it's time to make our patties, okay? So I'm gonna turn the oil on now. I'm gonna turn it between uh, between a seven and an eight. You don't want it too high, but you want it high just enough. So I'm gonna turn on the grease. When I get a chance, I'm gonna bring you guys over here when I start cooking, when we start actually cooking them. I'm also gonna turn on the water to our macaroni, cause I didn't tell you guys, but I'm also making macaroni. I'm doing it very simple. I'm just gonna make a regular Velveeta. I'm not baking any macaroni or nothing. And I'm also doing honey. Honey, y'all ready for this? Cream corn, honey. You not know it's been years. It has been years. I have not had no cream corn in years. But for some reason, I was feeling old school today. And I said, I want me some cream corn with my macro patties. I remember when I was young, my mama used to make fried mackerel with some cream corn and some mashed potatoes. Now listen, I normally get the regular potatoes, I peel them, I boil them, and I make my own homemade mashed potatoes. But baby, my mama didn't used to do all that. She used to get the box, the powdered mashed potatoes, and make them taste like they was straight up out of the dirt. Do you hear me? So I said, you know what, I'm gonna keep it real simple, and I'm gonna just go ahead and get me some garlic mashed potatoes, the box kind. And then I also got, because this is what my I grew up on. I grew up on Idaho. I never even said the word before. I can't, I hope I said that right. I ain't never said that word, but I knew what it looked like. I grew up on this. Do you hear me? Now, in my opinion, I don't think, I think I could make regular mashed potatoes better than this because I don't really make this. My mama makes these. However, we're going to make it today. We're going to make it today. So that's what I have. So we got some box mashed potatoes. We got some, um, they, so everything going to be creamy. To go with that, uh, to go with that crunchy mackerel, we're gonna have crunchy, crunchy. We're gonna try to make our mackerel crunchy, crunchy mackerel patties. You know the edges. You want the edges crunchy, and with some macaroni and cheese, Velveeta, some cream corn. Ooh. I'm excited about this cream corn, y'all. I'm excited, and some mashed potatoes, some creamy mashed potatoes. Whenever you get the box mashed potatoes, you know your potatoes gonna be creamy. Yeah. Over here, you're not eating those. I'm cooking. Okay. Go eat that chicken. There's more chicken on there. I'm, I'm cooking. Don't come up in here disrespecting me. Come up in here trying to eat while I'm cooking, boy. Don't disrespect me. Don't disrespect me. Respect my gangster mind. We 
disrespecting me like that. I'm gonna drink the rest of this here though. All right, y'all. I'm gonna tear this up. I'm gonna tell y'all what this is. For some of y'all who don't know, I'll show that to y'all in a minute. So, this is what we need to do real quick because the grease is heating up. We don't wanna burn nothing up. We don't wanna burn nothing up. So we gotta get quick. We gotta move quick, y'all. We gotta move quick. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, I didn't got too excited, and I gotta slow down. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna use this. Let me get something to clean this mess off. Woo, Lord, I can't wait, honey, until we move, honey. I can't wait. God is handing out keys, y'all. This will be the year where God will be blessing us with our own home. I decree and declare that in the name of Jesus. That we will be moving up out of here real soon. Okay? Because the curse is broken in Jesus' name. I prophesy today. Because I can't wait to get a bigger kitchen. Because your girl like to throw down. Huh? Yeah. Yes, baby. Amen. Okay. So, I'm just going to use this. So, what I'm going to do is is I'm gonna make the flour for my pâtés, okay? So I used about two cups of flour, and this is new. My mama never used to use this until she used it, and then I was like, oh. And I'm just gonna add in one cup of panko breadcrumbs. And if I end up needing more, I will add more as I go, okay? Now, Y'all know I was going to season this. Y'all know I wasn't going to not season it. Just a little bit. Black pepper. I ain't going to put no salt in there. But however, I am going to add some black pepper, a little bit of oregano, a little bit of oregano, and a little bit of smoked paprika, baby. You knew I was going to do it. You knew I was going to do it. Okay? And then we're just going to mix this up like you know you should when you're in my hood. All right? Okay, you might be able to tell me a lot of things, but you can't tell me nothing about my cooking, baby. Listen, I ain't I ain't go to chef school, honey. This is straight up came from the soul. All right. I might not know how to pronounce everything and might not know how to cook all them or have all them fancy gadgets or know how to cook all them uh, rich foods and stuff like that. But honey, just let me taste it. You give me one, give me an idea how it tastes. I'll show you what seasoning need to go in it. I might not even, ain't never tasted it before. Just give me one taste. I'll show you what, what, I, what kind of seasonings I think should go in it. Mommy. Yes. Um, are you a chef? I'm a chef. That's right. Speak it into existence, baby. I'm a chef in this house. I'm a chef in this house. You said it. She said it first. All right, y'all. So I'm going to move this out the way real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and make put my patties. I'm going to make a few patties. I'm going to just put this over here. I need some space. I need more space. Y'all pray for space. Pray for space in Jesus' name. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to take a little out. I really like how my mama did this. Even though I, you know, you be lazy. You be like, man, let me make a huge a couple big patties, you know, because, you know, you don't want to be standing over here cooking that long. But my mama, it's something about my mother, y'all. She made them, like, real small one day. Like, she flattened them out. And, baby, when I tell you that it was crazy to think, you know, you want them kind of plump. And my mom was like, no, nah, I used to make them plump when y'all was kids, you know, just trying to hurry up and get y'all fed. But she said, you want them real crispy. The flatter, the crispier. So let that be encouragement to some of you. <laughs> so I'm going to do that just like that. The flatter, the crispier. So I'm just going to take this and sit it to the side. Now what I should have done, hold on y'all, I'm going to just scoop this in here. Now you want to put a little flour down so that it doesn't stick to the surface, okay? You just put a little flour down there now. Just a little bit now. And you lay that down now and then you get your next patty. So you just need, you get about, I would say, one to two, ta about two tablespoons worth 
in your hand and then you just flat them out. Okay, you make them nice and flat. I didn't do this on my last video, so I'm doing this much differently than what I usually would do, y'all. But my mom, um, I just think that they have more flavor. You know, she, you know, I just believe that she was she was right about that. That they have more flavor, they get more crispier. Um, the the water, the moisture comes out better when they're flatter. So you want to make them really flat. Okay, as flat as you can. So you just grab, you just get a pinch of it and you just flat it down. Try to put it into like, make a little circle. Yeah. My friend Roman caught, uh, my, my friend Roman caught me in the belly. Okay, you tell him that ain't your name. You tell him you're, that's not your name. Okay, go on out, up out of here because I don't want you interrupting me, okay? Go on up out of here until I'm done. Okay, bye-bye. Okay? Love you. I love you too. Okay, bye-bye. Bye -bye. Go sit down. I told you it's Sunday. Go get you some rest. Until it's time to eat. Go get some rest, girl. Rest your rest your brain. <clears throat> Cause you got school tomorrow. A whole week of it. Okay. Alright. So that's all I'm gonna flat out for now. I'm just gonna sit this here. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab our flour here. And I'm gonna take one of the patties here. And now this is how I do it. I don't know how you do it, but this is how I do it. I take it because it's very gentle and I put the flour on top and I kind of like pack it just a little bit, not like pack it too much, but this is how I do it. And then I just kind of like very gently like that. This is how I do it. And you just pat it to pat off all the excess flour. Now, I would have put cornstarch in here, but I put egg and mustard in here. And those are both, bless me, those are both binders, you know, outside of the flour itself. So, I'm like, no, nah, I don't need all of that extra. Okay. So, that's what you have. See that? You see how flat that is? Yeah, my mama taught me that. So a good trick to, to, to check to see, God bless you too, uh, Tashana. Thank you so much. Um, a good trick, you guys, to see if your, your grease is ready. This is how my mama used to teach me. She said, take the excess flour in your hand and flick a little bit inside of the oil. And if it start bubbling up right away, like the flour rises to the top and bubbling up, your flour ready, your oil ready. But if it doesn't, if it kind of just marinates in and sits, sits in the oil, it's not ready yet. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this hand and flick a little bit in the oil to see if our oil's ready. Oh, it's ready. It's ready, ma'am. Ma'am, it's ready. Okay. So I'm going to put my first one in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know y'all want to see. Y'all hold on. But can you hear it, though? Yeah. I believe so. Okay, so let's get the next one. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do this quickly. With these, you got to do them quickly, y'all. Y'all see how I'm playing patty cake? Shake off any excess, but you want to pack as much in, well, you know, as much in there as you can. Y'all see, it, this is kind of messy, y'all. You know, clean and whatnot. Okay, that one's ready. You don't need a lot of oil in your pan, y'all. You do not need a lot of oil in your pan, okay? You only need about, I say about three cups of oil in your pan when you're frying these. You don't need a lot. So you pack some in there and then you kind of just like do it like that rub off any excess you want to you want to turn them over about three two to three minutes after they first in there you'll know when they done because they i show y'all when the first one's done i show you so you pack it in there and then you kind of like throw it from side to side okay to shake off any excess so that one's done 
Okay, so I'm only able to put three in at a time. That's why this, it, it seems like it does take a while. You know, like if this is, it takes a while to make these only because um, you got to pack them in there and it's, it is messy. So I'm going to use a lot of gloves, but let me, I'm going to try and see. Okay. So hold on. It looks like my, my oil is done for my, um, y'all give me just a second. Cause I'm going to need like a fork as well. To turn it over. Some. You don't have to cook them too fast, so I turned them between like a six and a seven because they was up a little bit too high. I want to bring y'all over here, y'all over here, so y'all could be able to see me because I'm gonna be over here now doing the cooking. So y'all give me a second. I gotta make space. y'all so there they are right there i'm getting ready to put some salt in here this is my macaroni my velveta water here and then i got my macaroni water here i'm gonna make go ahead and make the velveta right now because you could just warm that back up if it gets cold or whatever so i'm gonna make the velveta right now This is how I do it. I just take this and I turn it like that. Turn it one more time. So you turn them like every two to three minutes, okay? Until you can kind of see through them. You kind of see through them a little bit, then you know they're done. Um, let me get something to take these out. So we're gonna use this here. To let this rack right here to let them dry let them um let the oil seep through them so they're done so let's go ahead and take them out yeah i had turned it up like it was kind of up so in the beginning so that's why um they got these ones got done so fast also there's also because they're thinner they do get done quicker so let's go ahead and take this out because they're done So that's what they look like see that you see how you can like see through them that's how i always knew when they was done you don't have to see through them but that's how i like mine because they a little be they be more crispier like that so let me get the rest let me get the, another batch batch going and you gotta move quickly y'all because if not you will burn your grease honey you gotta move quickly when you're doing this because they get they, these gonna get done quick um but 
it's just a lot of work, y'all. It, it really, it truly is. Okay. It's best to use gloves because they will stick to your hands if you don't use gloves when you're doing this. I'm just letting you know. I actually could have just went like that, actually. Okay. So already, one of these is ready to turn over. Both of these are ready to turn. You see how quick they ready to turn over? And it's and like I said, it's because um, they are so thin. You're going to get messy. See, you're, you're going to get messy, y'all. So just be prepared for that. Thank you so much for getting us to 114 likes. I greatly appreciate it. You think we can get 114 more? We got 225 of y'all in here. Thank you so much for stopping by for Sunday dinner. <laughs> Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Shout hallelujah, eh. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Sing hallelujah, eh. Hey. Okay. Looking good. Now, it's up to you to cook them to however dark you want them. I like mine's dark. Okay? They don't be dry. They still be good. But if you want to take yours out at this level when they look this kind, this color, take them out, baby. Okay? But as for me, I like that crunch. That crispy. Ooh, that crunch. Ooh, wee. Hee hee. Baby, let me show you. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I like to eat mine with mustard and hot sauce. Um, we also used to eat. Now listen. I don't know what you've been told. I'm almost done, baby. Yeah. I like my mac and cheese. Yes. Get out, girl. Don't come in here. You ain't supposed to. Macro. Yeah. Yeah. I like mac and cheese. I, I got mac and cheese. When it's done, you get some. Go on now. Go on about here. Oh, it's hot. I got to open this window. Girl, don't do that. I'm going to whoop your butt. Get up out of here. Bye. Don't come in here being disrespectful. Hurt you, girl. Hurt your feelings real good. Okay. So these are just about done. I need them a little darker because they might look like they're um like they're done, but you guys, they hold a lot of water. So even these right here, when I open one, I will show you the ones that I cook first. I will show you that they're still juicy. They hold a lot of water. I don't know why, but they do. I don't know the science behind it, but they hold they hold a lot of water. These noodles are done. Let me get a, let me get a strainer. Hold on, y'all. Where my 
the strain of it. Turn that off. All right, they done now. This one's done. When you barely, when you could barely hear them, that's when you know they're done. When you barely hear them frying, that means they done. But like I said, they hold water. When I tell you they hold water, baby, they hold water. And that's on real. So it's really difficult to overcook these because, I mean, they already cooked. Okay, so let's keep moving, y'all. We got the joy of the Lord being our strength today. Some of y'all might ask me, why are you so happy? It's because Jesus lives in me. Don't worry, my noodles is turned off for those of you who are like, you burning the noodle? It's turned off. I just turned it off. spirit of the Lord lives in you there ain't nothing you can't do and I know I'm making a mess y'all but like I told you I told y'all this was a messy thing so if you're not into mess you might not want to make these wonderful day. It's a great day to bless the name of the Lord. He's just so good. He's so kind, you know, such a good God that we serve, you know. Even though these are like kind of small, they start off kind of small. Y'all, this bread flour, plump them right back up. These things plump right back up, honey. So the purpose in patting it in is because they are very moist. So when you pat the flour in, you're squeezing out the excess juice. You're trying to get the, the, the flour to stick to that moisture. So that's the purpose of patting it in. Just so for some of y'all, if y'all was asking, and you go ahead and do this. Get that excess flour and stuff off. And give this a stir. I don't want it to stick to the bottom. I'm gonna make take these gloves off and finish this in a minute, but I need to turn these over. Turn this one over. I'm gonna turn it and then I'm just gonna gently pat it down some. See, they're very, man, they, when I tell you it holds moisture, honey, it holds that moisture, baby. Ooh. No need for me to test one, y'all. Ain't no need for me to test one in front of y'all because I already know these are good. I didn't made them so many times. Not to toot my own horn, but to toot my own horn. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let those cook. And I'm going to go ahead and take, I'm going to have to get some new gloves, but I'm going to go ahead and make this macaroni so I can put it and then just go ahead and set it in the oven and hopefully it stay warm that way. Now, I'm very basic with my Velveeta, y'all. Very basic. This is that quick meal when you don't feel like going all out, okay? I don't usually try to use all of it. I mean, I use the majority of it, but if there's a little bit of cheese left, I don't care. It ain't nothing but cheese whiz. No way. It ain't, it ain't the real thing. Wash my hands off. Well, for the men out there who have a wife or you want a wife, uh -huh. every woman can't cook. 
but she could learn how to cook. I didn't start off knowing how to cook, but it was in my soul. You understand? It was in my soul because my mama fed me her good cooking through her womb. Do you hear me? Well, all I'm saying is if you're going to get you a woman, get you a woman that cares more about what's in your stomach than what's on her face. Okay? Now, you want her to care about her face, too. Keep herself up. Right? But you don't want her to care more about her appearance, her clothes, her makeup, her hair, than she does about the food that's going to go into your body and nourish it. And I'm not saying that you need a bunch of soul food because we all know soul food leads to bad health. We get that part. But she could still learn how to cook healthy and it'd be good. Okay? Because ain't nothing like a woman who know how to season her food. Do you understand me? Honey, they got the Indian, the, uh, 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 the people from India started it. Okay, please. Every day, honey, they cook their eggs with ginger. You understand me? They put, they put ginger in their breakfast eggs. So, 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 uh, 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 get you a woman or, or, or tell her that if she don't know how to do it, tell her, help her learn, teach her, Te get her, get her somebody to follow, honey, that know how to season, ha ha, they food. You get that? You good to go. Uh-huh. You see, cause I might not look the best. You catch me on a bad day. You might think I'm something else, you know? Now, but one thing about it, and two things for certain, Donisha gonna cook, okay? She gonna cook, and that's it. Now, like I said, you ain't have to cook y'all this dark, but I like mine just like that, honey. Y'all see? Y'all hear that? That's oil. That's uh the uh the moisture. That's not just oil coming out of this. That is um the moisture from the uh fish. When I I don't know why these things hold a lot of moisture. But they do. If you know why they, why mackerel holds a lot of moisture, please let me know in the comment section. They, I don't know why they hold so much moisture, but they definitely do. Mix that up. I gotta hurry up because my oil is just about through, honey. I might have. Let me put a little bit more oil in now. Put a little bit more oil in now. Cause she almost done, honey. Let me turn it down a little bit more. We took as you start cooking, you know that heat, that oil, it heat up real good. So then you as you've been cooking, you've been cooking for a minute, you could turn it down. Cause the hot the longer it stays on there, that's gonna get hotter. And you ain't trying to burn the place down. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we still got a you know about a good about four or five more patties to go. So therefore, I'll put a little more oil in now. A little more oil in now to slow down that oil. Tell, tell it, tell it, tell it to calm down in the name of Jesus. Tell it to calm down in Jesus name. Okay, real quick. Let me throw in. Throw in a little bit of black piper. And throw in some uh, garlic powder. Throw in that garlic powder. Yeah, baby. And a little bit of that onion powder. Yeah. And just mix it up. Maybe put in a little bit of milk. Where my milk at? Put in a little bit of milk. A little bit. Leave that milk to the side because I'm actually going to use that milk for my uh, mashed potatoes too. All right. And that's all she wrote. Macaroni done. All right. Let me go ahead and get me a pan of pot or something. Put my macaroni in here real quick. I gotta move fast. My grease is, I don't want my grease to burn. Okay. Go ahead and Okay. All right. Put this in the sink. Okay. And I'm gonna just stick this in the oven. The oven is not on, but it's just going to keep it warm. And I'm going to go ahead and heat this water up for my mashed potatoes. Bring this up here. Go ahead and heat this up again. Now I'm going to make my mashed potatoes. All right, let's keep it moving. Let me go ahead and put my gloves back on. Bring this back over here. Finish because it's getting a little hot over here. But I said, y'all, this ain't for the faint of heart. 
making these uh, macro patties, honey, you gotta, it's best to have them already pre-made, like have them already pre-patted out. But who got time for that? Let's go ahead and turn the grease down some more. Turn it down, I gotta turn it down some more, cause it's getting hot. Okay. Grease is moving. The grease is moving. Okay, so we got about two more in here, and then we done. Go ahead and turn this one over. I'm telling y'all, when that grease heat up, they start moving quick. Oh boy! Feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying, Joe? make one you just make this no nah, I was gonna make this one but you see when you start doing it for a while you start getting you start getting tired you be like listen I'm ready to listen I'm ready to stop making these honey I'm tired now you can't get too tired though okay. I'm gonna flip them again y'all the grease is hot flip them again flip them again Whip them again. That one can stay. Okay. Let's go ahead and make this last one. Okay. That's it. All done. Go ahead and take these gloves off. Woo. Oh, let me go ahead and put my cream corn on.
open the back door. Try one in the middle because it's, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be good with some cream corn and mashed potatoes. That's good. Mm -hmm. It's good, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little crispy, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nana taught me that to make them thin. She taught me to make them thin and it make them crisp, a little crispier. this one up, y'all. See? Y'all see why you want to do it with gloves? Y'all see how it's sticking to my hand like that? When you don't have no flour on your hand, it will stick to your hand because you you add the flour in the mixture when you're making the mixture. So it like sticks to you. That's why it sticks to you. So that's why I, ha I wear gloves when I'm doing this to avoid that process so that it's not sticking to my hands like crazy. Took me years to learn that, but I learned it. Okay, we are done now with this, so now I could just go ahead and throw this away and clean this stove off. So y'all give me a second and clean, up, clean this mess up here. Good. We open that window good and wide. Oh, it feels good. Go ahead and clear the house out. Yeah, baby. One thing about it, y'all, is the bigger your house is, the less you have to worry about smoke. You know what I mean? When you got a big house, you don't have to worry about that. I mean, you could still burn something up in the kitchen, but there's so much space that it'll take a while for it to get extremely smoky. That's the kind of house I want, a big one, where, where it'll take a minute before my husband comes saying, what's smoking? What you burning? <laughs> Last time you had cream corn put it in the comment section was the last time you had cream of corn i want to see it i knew three containers was going to be enough three containers was just enough y'all these might be some little cans look at all that cream corn honey please don't underestimate the cream corn baby that's a lot of cream corn came out of these little three cans when's the last time y'all had cream many many years hey Hey, it's been a long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Somebody said, I love corn pudding, <laughs> Bonnie. <laughs> Somebody said, yesterday. Okay. I ain't had cream corn in years. It's been years since I had cream corn, honey. 
years, baby. Okay. But today, somebody say, today is the day. <laughs> yes. Okay, we can turn this off. The back eye, we can turn that off. Them done. Just let them sit for a quick second. Okay. What do y'all put in y'all cream corn? Leave it in the comment section. What do you put in your cream corn? It might inspire someone. However, I'm just going to put some black pepper in here. That's about it. Okay, I lied. I'm going to put a little pinch of salt. Just a little pinch of salt. Just a little pinch of salt. And then I'm going to add a little black pepper. And that's it. What y'all put in y'all cream corn? All right, these are done. Let's go ahead and take them out. Like I said, in my opinion, it's really difficult to burn these, these uh, patties, y'all, because they pack a lot of moisture. So you can literally let them cook to where they look burnt, burnt, and they still going to taste good. Trust and believe me, it takes a lot to burn these. It really does. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this because I need to clean this oil. I don't want to start a grease fire. The devil is a liar, and we got some grease back there to clean, so... We're just going to spray a little bit. Try to anyway. Just a little bit back there. Because I can't. One thing with me is if I if I have oil, I, if for some reason, I, I don't have a problem like leaving my kitchen dirty. Sometimes like if I'm really tired, I'll leave the kitchen dirty for, you know, for a night or whatever. And I won't really trip over it. But one thing I cannot do, my kitchen might be dirty, but I cannot leave no oil. Just sitting on the stove. If anybody else like that, you might not have the strength to clean your kitchen fully, but the oil on your stove has to like be gone. Like I cannot sleep. Like there's no way I can let oil just sit on my stove, even if the stove is off. I have to clean it for some reason. Obviously, it's a you know I think it's an instinct thing because you know that oil can create a fire on the stove, and so I think it's an instinct thing that I've learned from seeing my mom and dad back in the day. <laughs> back in the day, how we used to put the fires out on the stove is my dad would get, he would get salt. My mom and daddy used to get salt. Whenever they had a grease fire, I learned how to put out a grease fire with salt. They would take regular table salt and just sprinkle it all on the aisle. We didn't have these kind of stoves back then. But we, they would take regular salt and just sprinkle it. Put a whole bunch you be, you be about ready to, and you empty that whole container of salt. <laughs> they empty the whole container of salt on the stove, y'all. Just pouring it till the fire go out. Just pouring it on the stove. That's how I remember how to put a fire out back in the day. <laughs> you heard what I said. Somebody said, I put, I mix cream corn with regular corn, greens, and red peppers, onions, and butter. That sounds delicious. Somebody put sugar and butter in there? I don't know about the sugar. They, it's sweet. You must like your corn real sweet. I put my salmon patties in the air fryer and they turned out cr Yes. Come on now. For the One time for the air fryer. Two times for the air fryer. Ain't nobody sleeping on the air fryer. Ain't nobody sleeping on the air fryer, honey. But fortunately, the only time I crave a mackerel patty... Is that one certain time of the month? I don't eat. I eat mackerel patties about once a month, and I eat them when my body is saying, "Eat the sugar, eat the salt, get the ice cream, get the cookies, drink the wine." I eat it during that time because during that time is when a woman's body, you know, her hormones, they at that level. Like her estrogen has risen. Okay, just like Jesus Christ rose on the third day, that estrogen rises. Okay. That one time in the month, and when it rises, so does that fat and sugar craving. And that's when I eat the mackerel patties, baby. Therefore, I don't need to put them in no air fryer. I want all the grease. I want all the sugar. I want all the smoke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I be eating my mackerel patties guilt free. I try to do, you know, do my little best throughout the month. And I still work out and everything. I still go to the gym. I'll be up in there tomorrow. I'll be in there tomorrow. But, honey, I eat the mackerel patties when I know it don't matter what nobody say. I'm finna eat that. 
When my body said, whoo, I don't care what nobody say. I'm finna eat my greasy mackerel patty, baby. Please. Forget that air fry. Shoot. Now let me let me let me make my cream corn now. Okay. Like I don't even eat, like I said, I don't I don't even eat back box mashed potatoes. Like what? <laughs> I don't even eat box mashed potatoes. I'm eating them today. I don't even know how to make these. I had to look at the directions. I'm making them today. Who gonna check me, boo? Who gonna check me? I'm gonna eat these, honey, and enjoy myself, okay? Now, I don't know if I'm gonna eat them all now. I don't know how to make these, y'all. I'm going off the top of my head. I don't make box mashed potatoes. But we're going to make them today. Let me go ahead and scoot this over because if not, I ain't going to have no more room. So let me go on and scoot this back. Because this pot is big. All right. I think that's enough water, y'all. How much water is that? Y'all, I got about a cup and a half of water. That's probably not enough water. But I want to add milk anyway. So let me get my milk. Let me get my milk ready. Let me get my butter ready. And my sour cream. And my sour cream. So it's not... Girl, you... Honey, please, my something going on with my nose. My, my nose, um, my nose sensations is uh doing something too. Cause I'm just smelling all kind of things. Shoot. Something going on. Where the uh stop cream, Billy Jean? There it is. Alright. Let me hurry up. I got I'm ready to go now, y'all. I done exhausted myself. I'm ready to eat and sit down somewhere. I rest. I didn't even get out the bed yesterday. I sure didn't. I did not get out the bed, y'all. I got out. Matter of fact, I got out of. The, I got out of the bed one time yesterday, y'all, and that was literally to go get me some cookies from the store. And I hopped right back in the bed. So I'm put some butter in there. That's that carry gold. You don't know nothing about it. So don't even try to step to me. You don't know nothing about carry gold. So don't even try to come up in here and act like you know, cause you don't know nothing. Okay. <laughs> You don't know nothing about it, honey, okay? You still using margarine. You still using margarine. You don't know nothing about carry gold. Anyway, come on. All right, y'all. Let's see if I could do this. Do something. I don't know. So I mixed in this. I, this is the garlic mashed potatoes right there. Kroger brand. And then I got these Idaho. Oh, it smelled good. It smelled Wait a minute. That smelled good. Where my, uh, where my spoon? Where my spoon, Lord? Them doggone things smell good up in that pot. Hey. Okay, I gotta pour my milk in now. Them dog, I see why my mama used to cook these. Well, I don't want too much milk, though. I don't want a pot full of milk. That's gassy. Let me get some water. I'm trying to be gassy now. I ain't trying to be gassy. We don't want too much milk. We just want enough to make... Make you, make you, make you feel something. Come on, um, uh, why do you keep coming off the stove now? Stay on the stove. Let me pour some more water in there, y'all. See, I have to just, with these, I gotta just do it as I look. I just gotta look at it and see, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I gotta go by what I see. But all I know is they need a lot of water. Dang, I only put one pack in there. And then, you know, these doggone things need a lot of water. Dang, y'all. They smell good. I know that much, though. Them doggone things smell good. Don't sleep on the, uh, whatever you call these doggone things. The uh, instant potatoes. These things smell good. Matter of fact, my mama used to make instant potatoes. My mama used to go to the store, and she used to get a container of Salisbury steak. Okay? She used to get the Salisbury steak that you put in the microwave. The one that just got nothing but Salisbury steaks in it. Baby, she used to take that Salisbury steak, take a fork, and... Put some holes in it, put that doggone thing inside of that oven and let them simmer slow and get her some doggone. She used to put some cream corn on the stove with some doggone instant mashed potatoes and, and some green beans and she would put some flaky biscuits in the oven. Dinner, dinner, and call it dinner. What you know about it? Honey, please. We alive, we still live. They tried to say we was gonna die from eating all that food. We, I, I lived. I live to tell another day. I don't know about you, but I live to tell another day. 
That don't mean I cook like that for my family, but that, I, that just means I live to tell another day. But I don't even make, I don't make instant potatoes, but um, uh, I think every once blue moon, Donisha's probably going to adopt that, that habit because, okay, I, I need to get a, uh, what's the name? I need, I need, uh, I need these flavors to whisk a little better than that. So let me see if I can get me a little whisk here. Because I don't like, okay, this, okay. All right, a lot, a little goes a long way. All right. Let me put a little bit of sour cream in there to give it a little creamier texture. But a little, mmm, a little go a long way, y'all. A little, a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. Yes, I put sour cream in my mashed potatoes. I put it in my macaroni too. When I make my baked macaroni and cheese, I put sour cream in there. You can't notice no, you don't notice no difference. You don't notice no difference. It's good. Okay. All right, let me get some more water. Okay. Cause it's getting, it's thickening it up. We don't need that many mashed potatoes, do we? Let me go ahead and, dang y'all, I need a lot of water. Dang. We need a lot of water for these. Dang y'all, that's almost a whole eight ounces. No, that's more than eight ounces of water. You don't want them, but you want them creamy. I don't want them. Let me turn this off. I think I could turn that off now. They doing, ain't they? I just, I don't want them. I just want them creamy. I don't want no lumps. I don't want no lump. I don't like how this whisk is doing in here, but I don't want nobody's lumps. I don't know about you. Honey, I'm going to put a little more butter in here. I'm going to put a little more butter. Okay, I ain't going to put no more water in there either. I'm going to put a little more butter in there. Okay, y'all, I don't need all of these. That's enough, I think. That's a lot of potatoes. We don't, I don't want too much. I don't want my family to waste them. Yeah, we're not going to use the rest of these. Wow, these go a long way. I see why my mama used to make them. They go a long way, y'all. Wow. Okay, hold on. Because that cream corn is heating up. I smell it. Okay. Oh, I'm burning the cream corn. Turn it down, Donisha. I'm burning the cream of corn. Turn it down, man. How are you going to burn the corn? It's already cooked. What's wrong with you? Oh, it smells good. I want to taste this, y'all. I ain't going to front, front with you. Let me mix that up. All right, y'all. I'm done. I'm going to get off of here. I'm ready to eat. Okay. Where my milk? Put my little, a little bit more milk in there. Just a little bit. All right. All right. I'm ready to eat, y'all. Y'all got to go. <laughs> y'all got to go. I'm ready to eat. Okay, that's enough. I don't need no more water. Okay, I do want this to stay on low though, so it can just cook a little bit more. Cook the uh, ingredients and everything. I tried to make it as creamy as I could. Okay, let me put, what should I put in it? Some black pepper? I, it don't need no garlic. It got enough garlic, honey. Them potatoes was garlic flavor. So I'm just going to put some black pepper and some onion powder. And that should be good. A little onion powder. Oh, I put a little smoke. Just a little bit of smoked paprika, too. Just a tad bit. Mix it up. Mmm. Ooh, my, my nose is senses is, mess, is is opening up. It's time to eat, y'all. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all this food and then I'm gonna let y'all go. Y'all got to go. I hope y I hope y'all have a wonderful e <laughs> a wonderful evening.
okay, y'all. All done, y'all. Ain't nothing like a woman that can cook, man. Ain't nothing like a woman. I'm telling y'all, y'all getting all these women with these BBLs and CCLs and DDLs. Y'all need to be trying to get you a woman that's going to... That, that, that know how to uh, shop at the grocery store. Because the way food is, the way uh, they putting them price tags on that food, you need to be trying to get a woman that can save you a pretty penny when it comes to cooking. Okay? Because that's where all your money going. It used to be your money was going towards your rent. Now it's going towards the food. Okay? And they taking everybody and their mama off of food stamps. You make $2 over the limit. The legal limit, you off of food stamps, even though you ain't even got enough to come up with all your rent money. But because you working, they take you off of food stamps. So you better try to get you a woman um, that know how to bargain when she go to the store to save you some money. Because this food is, honey, I already, I done already told my family, I done already told my kids, I said, don't come over here. I done already told my kids, honey, I said, don't come over here talking about some, can we get some McDonald's? Can we get some Burger King? Can I get a pizza? No. No, no, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. The way the prices of the on the fast food then went up. Oh heck no, no. What you want? You want some chow mein? Let's go to the store and get some. And, and, and let me get you some. Uh, 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 get you some. Uh, get some noodles and, and make you some lo mein. Now there are certain things I let my son get, which I did let him get. These, they was on sale a dollar a piece, but that's the only reason why he got them. This is the chow mein teriyaki noodles. I let, I let him get five of those because sometimes, you know, he has schoolwork and stuff to do. And my, my son is homeschooled. So sometimes he, you know, for his lunch, he won't, you know, something quick and easy. So I let him do that, but um, get that. But honey, please, no, 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 no. If you're going, if you're spending your money at Starbucks and all these fast food places, you're crazy. The way these prices are, you need to be trying to learn how to get in that kitchen and cook. And that's on period. That's on period. So my macros was uh I had three can three cans, but I only used two cans. So that's let me see, that's um two six bucks. Six bucks for my macros. My mashed potatoes was like four bucks. And then my cream corn was about three dollars. So you could cook you a meal of fem for a family of five. For about 20 this this is about 20 bucks right here now i already had my flour and my seasonings so you you know but for the actual ingredients or whatever it's about a 20 dollar meal right here y'all now you could have easily spent that on your lunch and your and your and your coffee you know what i'm saying like we want god to elevate us we want god to bless us we want god to increase us but we don't want to learn how to be better stewards over the finances that he's given us we always complaining and saying we don't have enough money to do this and we don't have enough money to do that. But God is trying to teach us how to be good stewards because it's only when you're a good steward over what he's given you that he don't mind blessing you with more. But if you can't store what you got, you're never going to be able to see the fruit of your labor. And I don't know about you, but I'm in a season where I want to see the fruits of my labor. So I said, God, I'm going to stop eating out so much and I'm going to learn how to and I'm a cook. And it's perfect for me because I have an eating channel. You know, people love to see home cooked food. You know what I'm saying? So this encourages me. This YouTube channel really encourages me to cook. It encourages me to cook, even though I'm tired. Even though sometimes I don't feel like cooking because I'm tired. I do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, man, these prices got me messed up, bro. You got me messed up trying to charge me eight bucks for a Jack in the Box burger, man. You got, I be in the, you know, I be in the drive through line like post up, man. You just. Did you really just charge me $30 for two burgers and a shake? I'll be, I'll be ready to post up in these lines. Honey, please. Please, honey. It ain't just the groceries that went up. The dog going on. It ain't just the groceries that went up, y'all. It's the dog on fast food places went up. Your favorite restaurant went up, too. Okay. Now, I love y'all. I'm finna show y'all this food, and then I'm finna get on out your way. How about that? How about that? Now, I need to know by popular demand, would you like me to mukbang this? Because I was not. I was going to sit down and I was going to eat it. Okay. So if you would like us to me to mukbang this, me and my husband, please let me know right now in the comment section. Because if you don't, then I'm just going to turn this camera off and eat it. Would you like a mukbang? Okay. We got one yes, two. It's still early, so I could get it. I could probably get it out to y'all. Three, 
four, five. <laughs> okay. All right, dang. All right. Bonnie, you, you oh, you can't say yes more than once. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, five, the five different people saying yes more than one. <laughs> you got five people saying yes more than once. Don't think I don't see it. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to mukbang it. All right. All right. All right. Let me set up this equipment. All right. Well, then I got to go because you might be able to get this tonight. Okay. Let me show y'all this food and then I'm going to get on that child's way. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so here are the macro patties. Like I said, you don't have to do yours this dark. Yours can be as light as you want. Um, they're gonna be done irregardless. But I like mine's dark like this because I like the crunch. And then I have my mashed potatoes right here. I tried to get as many chunks out as I could. I do have some chunks left in there, but I, I did my best. And then here's my cream corn. There's my cream corn. I was going to make some broccoli too or some carrots, but, but screw that. This this will do. This will do. So, that's it, y'all. Hold on. Let me turn this light back. Hold on, y'all. Uh-oh. All right, y'all. So, that's it. Let me go pat my oil off my face. Clean my, I ain't cleaning this kitchen. I ain't gonna lie. I'm just putting the dishes in the sink. And these kids can clean these dishes. I ain't cleaning them. Go ahead and um, set up these lights, set up this table, and we're gonna sit down and eat Sunday dinner. And then my mom's not here, y'all. She's not here today. She had to work late today. So y'all not gonna see her to just be me and Clifton on this video. However, I will give it to you guys because that's what y'all want. I love y'all so much, and I pray that you guys have a wonderful Sunday evening. I pray that you guys wake up tomorrow morning, Monday morning, predestined and ready to just conquer any spiritual demonic forces standing in your way or trying to overpower you. I just pray that you guys will wake up predestined and and um you know and just ready to do what God has called you to do. Okay, um, in Jesus' name, I love y'all so much and i will see you guys on the next live it was very nice spending my sunday afternoon with y'all cooking with y'all thank you so much for keeping me company and keeping me encouraged i greatly appreciate it i greatly appreciate everybody who liked the video and everybody who contributed or shared it i thank you so much i love every single one of y'all with the love of jesus christ okay and i pray that y'all have a wonderful evening and a blessed week i will see you guys very 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 soon okay Bye, y'all. I'll see y'all on the mukbang, okay? I'll see y'all in a little bit. Give me about a few hours, okay? I'll see y'all in about two hours, okay? Love y'all so much. Love you, Dion. Love every single one of y'all. Bye. Bye for now, y'all. Bye for now.